Welcome to the tutorial on how to create a bilingual website on Weebly. So first of all I have my website made here. You can see all of the pages that I created. You for this tutorial I for this tutorial for this to function correctly you will need to alternate pages with the being a first language, second language, first language and so on as you can see right here. It says home. I got a, an English and a Spanish version let's say of the site so I got home Inicio, contact, contacto, and always like this. So next option that we need to uncheck actually in Weebly is inside of our settings. When we scroll down and we find the navigation option back, we need to uncheck the group access pages under more, <coughs> like that. Save and edit. Now the next thing we need to do is we need to duplicate pages. We need to duplicate pages so we can create uh, a unique class to we can give a unique class to a, our body so that we can later apply that class in our CSS and add the styles to it. So from the downloads you should have uh, three folders CSS, HTML and images but first of all we will start like we said by duplicating uh, page the page layouts that you're using on this cage I'm uh, in this case I'm only using a tall header layout so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna duplicate the tall header layout so we click on the design tab on the left on edit HTML CSS and then on the left under tall header layout uh, under page layouts I click on tall header .html. and then on the right you can see that the markup here appears and we will copy everything from here and then we click on add new layout under page layouts a new uh, window will pop up like you see and in the other option we will give this a name that is relevant to our page we said it was a tall header layout but let's for example say second like second language and then we will paste in everything right here okay so next thing we need to do is we need to give those classes to those pages so first of all we will click on the original tall header uh, again or that page layout that you're using and then you need to look back for the body tag. You can see here the body tag and you see that it already has two classes inside actually tall header page and website theme light. We will add a third one to it that is called first lang like this. And then to the one we just duplicated and for our second language we will add in the body to the body a new class that is called second lang just like that. Now, from the downloads you need to upload uh, optionally those images that I provided which are just some flags and but what you do need to upload is the CSS of course that will afterwards make it uh, function correctly. So what we will do is we will click under files on add new file. From the CSS folder we will upload bilingual.css just like that. And I will also upload those images like I said. So from the images folder, upload those two images. <coughs> now next thing we need to do is we need to link that CSS that we just uploaded to the page layouts that we will use it on. For that you can open the HTML folder of your download and where it says in the file add to head, you can open that part select everything from it and copy it and then we will add it in the head section of our uh, layout so right now here we are on a on a tall header on our second layout so we look back for the head you can see here the head that it opens and here the closing tag so we'll paste it right under the meta tag that you can find I'm also using I'm also going to use the tall header the original layout of course and also here I will paste in the code provided which actually is just a, a link to the CSS that we uploaded so now the next thing we need to do is uh, we need to link those images we need to add them to the to the uh, navigation menu so what we will do is we will open the HTML bilingual of the HTML folder as you can see here it says link to the second page to the second language page we will select all of that code here and then we will paste it in right beside our menu but actually still inside our menu I, I 
I mean, you can see menu here in uh, curly braces, and right after we will paste that code. And now for the tall header, uh, second layout, duplicated layout, we need to insert we need to insert the second piece, which would be the link to our first language page or original page, as you want. And also here, we look back for the menu between curly braces, and right after that, we'll paste in the the link. <coughs> as you can see, there is a flag appearing here. But this doesn't matter for now because we are going to. It's going to look different actually in the in the editor and all. So now we have uh, everything inserted. We can save. You can give a name to your team if you haven't already. And then we're going to publish. And as you can see now, we are on the English homepage loaded. We got our Spanish flag here, which we still got a link because it's not linked. And we need to paste in the correct URL. If you're not sure about how to get the URL, you can firstly link like I did inside of the uh, uh, written text or with an image, and then you can click on that. And as you can see right now, we are in the Spanish version actually. So what you do next is you click, uh, you cannot see it right here, but oop, like that. You click up there, you select everything, and then you copy, you copy the URL. So going back to the editor we will go again to the tall header to our original one because we want to link to the Spanish layout and then where it says paste in your URL between the quotes it needs to be we will paste in the exact URL which will be different uh, URL than mine of course and then we, next thing we need to do is we need to insert as well the, the home page so we go back to our home page and again and again you can uh, select the URL here in the in the address bar. So going back to the Weebly, now we go to our our copied version and also where this one says paste in your URL, we will paste in the the link. Now when we save everything, publish You can see that now we have our link here in the menu to our Spanish and I want to go back to our English one. And you can see that when you click on uh, contact that it stays only with the English menu and then when we click on the Spanish version and you click on the Spanish pages names that only the Spanish menu will appear. So, and like I said, of course, in the written tutorial as well that you can find back on the side that you can add uh, various types of links, you can add them written in your footer, you can uh, add a link or, or whatever you like. So this is how you can add a bilingual site to one account on Weebly.